I like the drone. Hmm? I like the drone. I know. It's a good video. Yeah. Are you sure you want to start at the studio? Can we start? Or I think so. Just give everybody a second. Okay, if you just let, us, let me know when you want to start. So how are you liking your new role? Well, it's like funny, man. It's like, you know, it's a... Uh, I find it a huge opportunity. How are you, sir? You have a little bit of what a beautiful spot, eh? Yeah, it's just yeah. gorgeous. Great writing, eh? Fantastic. <laughs> it is a beautiful spot. It is. It's good to get here off here now. I, I, I used to be down further south of here, closer to where I live. Yeah. Is this uh, Captain Overhead Frank Peacock lives here? Oh, he rides with the Captain Peacock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. He's been there before, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he's going to. I was just... I was is that, oh, he's going to come. I thought he was going to... I was just at his house. Oh. <laughs> just at his house. So, so you're having breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> He was in my riding on the weekend because oh. his son's in Kingston. Yeah. We're live? Okay. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, today's announcement. Uh, I want to take a second and acknowledge the incredible beauty here at the uh, Meadowvale Conservation Area. How lucky are we to be able to enjoy this beautiful place on such a, a, such a fine morning? I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Tom Adams, the Vice Chair of the Credit Valley Conservation Authority, Norm Sterling, uh, Chair of the Greenbelt Council, Edward McDonnell, CEO of the Greenbelt Foundation, and my incredible colleagues, the Honorable Nina Tangri, Sharif Sabawi, Rudy Cazetto, and Natalia Kuzindova for joining us today. I am pleased to reveal this sign that marks the Credit River as an important part of Ontario's Greenbelt. There are 21 urban river valleys, including the Credit River, across the Greenbelt. They pass through cities and towns and act as urban gateways connecting the Greenbelt to the Great Lakes, inland lakes and beyond. They create essential water features, act as migratory routes for songbirds and monarch butterflies, and provide habitat for wildlife. I am so proud to be part of the Ford government where we recognize that there needs to be a responsible balance that manages growth with protecting the environment. That is why our government is growing the Greenbelt. We are doing it for our children, we are doing it for our grandchildren. We are doing it for everyone who comes after us. We heard loud and clear that Ontarians want us to add the Periscope Moraine to the Greenbelt. We also heard loud and clear that we should add almost 10 urban river valleys to the Greenbelt. That will mean almost doubling the number of URVs. And that's not all. I recently announced that for every single acre where I have issued or will issue an MZO, I will be adding two acres to the Greenbelt. <laughs> Folks, I would boldly suggest that all of us gathered here this morning understand the importance of conserving our natural environment for today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you so much for being here. Now I would like to ask my friend, my incredible colleague, the Honorable Nina Tangri, your MPP for Mississauga Streetsville, to say more about this beautiful, and significant place. Minister Tangri.
Well, thank you so much, Minister Clark. It is so great to have you here in beautiful Mississauga today. It is an honor to be here with all of these wonderful individuals to recognize and celebrate the importance of the Greenbelt. We are so fortunate to have beautiful spaces like the incredible Meadowvale Conservation Area right here in our backyard for the good people of Mississauga to enjoy. In fact, I know that access to outdoor spaces is more important than ever, which is why I'm so proud to be here as we celebrate urban river valleys and shine a light on their importance to our environment. The Credit River Urban River Valley is part of an expansive protected area which spans from Rice Lake in the east to the western end of Lake Ontario and reaching Niagara and all the way up to the tip of Bruce Peninsula. I'm proud that our government is protecting urban river valleys and growing the Greenbelt and I'm proud to help celebrate the natural heritage that Ontario is blessed with. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to invite to the podium the CEO of the Greenbelt Foundation, Edwin MacDonald. Thank you, Minister, for the kind words and the introduction. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to see so many people here uh, to highlight the importance of the Greenbelt and to uh, increase awareness around the government's intent to increase its size and benefits. I want to specifically acknowledge Minister Clark as he has actively supported the Foundation's participation in the growing the Greenbelt process. And so we've, we've welcomed that opportunity. Um, at the Foundation, we were particularly heartened to see that the government's commitment to grow the Greenbelt included a clear commitment to maintain the Greenbelt's existing boundaries while seeking to increase its size and quality. At the Foundation, our role is to really help Ontario get the most out of its Greenbelt. Our work since 2005 has been supported by the Government of Ontario and we work on various aspects of improving and supporting and sustaining the Greenbelt systems. And that includes critical ecological and environmental benefits that help produce the clean air and clean water for nearly 9 million people who live within in or within 20 kilometers of the green belt. We also work to develop tourism products and other supports to help people get out to enjoy the green belt and to help support local businesses and rural economies. And finally, we help raise awareness around agricultural needs and how to grow our local food economy. And that includes the green belt's two specialty crop areas. So there's many good reasons to grow the green belt here in Ontario and those reasons will only become more important as our population increases, as we continue to see demand for local food and increased concern about local food system security in an uncertain world, and as we see demands on our water systems and we confront the challenges of climate change. Therefore, we're very pleased to support this process. We look forward to seeing the government's bold vision and the final proposal for growing the green belt, and we're here to support you all along the way. Thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Norm Sterling, Chair of the Greenbelt Council. Thank you very much and uh, good morning everyone. It's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to participate in uh, protecting sensitive, and, uh, sensitive environmental lands in our great province. I have, uh, over the past number of months, uh, with many of the members of the Greenbelt Council, consulted and listened to many groups and people across the province of Ontario. We've met and heard municipal councils, we've listened to environmental groups, we've listened to farmers, developers and business people. I know that our council can and will help fulfill Minister Clark and Premier Ford's desire to expand, to grow and to improve the effect of the Green Belt. I find it so exciting and privileged to be put into this position in order to help out and use the knowledge that I had when I was the minister responsible for the escarpment plan 
when I was part of the government that brought forward in the Oak Ridges Moraine Act. I believe that this knowledge and this history can help make the Greenbelt even greater than it is today. Minister, I want to thank you for giving me and the Greenbelt Council the opportunity to help bring forward options to even protect the Greenbelt and this area more than it is now. Urban river valleys are very, very important to the overall Greenbelt plan. They join the other parts with one another. The signage today will help reinforce the Greenbelt expanse of plans across all of the great golden, Greater Golden Horseshoe. Now I would like to introduce a fellow engineer, a man who has given much of his life to public life, who is the vice chairman of the Credit Valley Conservation Authority, Tom Adams. Thank you very much. Thank you and good morning. Uh, thank you, Minister Clark, MPP Tangri, Edward McDonald, and Norm Sterling. All of your work towards improving the Greenbelt is very much appreciated. I'm Oakville and Halton Councillor Tom Adams, Vice Chair of Credit Valley Conservation, and I'm very pleased to be with you today on the beautiful banks of the Credit River. This river meanders some 90 kilometers from its headwaters in Orangeville to uh, the mouth of uh, the river at, at Port Credit. It's vital to the quality of life of watershed residents, and it connects the suburban and rural lands of the Greenbelt to Lake Ontario and provides our communities with natural areas to explore, clean water and air, and critical habitat for wildlife. The River Valley plays an important role in helping to reduce the risk of flooding for our surrounding communities. And river valleys like this are special places, and we encourage residents to get to know the Credit River and explore conserva conservation areas like the Meadowvale Conservation Area here in Mississauga. The Credit River winds through this property, and the Glassford Trail takes visitors along its bank and through its floodplain. And if you look closely enough, you'll see remnants of an early settlement with mill and farm ruins. And this is also the path of the Credit Valley Trail, which is a key project for Credit Valley conservation. The trail will go 100 kilometers along uh, when it's completed, going from Orangeville through Caledon, Halton Hills and Brampton to Lake Ontario and Mississauga. And the trail will connect people to nature, cultural experiences, indigenous heritage and the sustaining waters of the Credit River. Greenbelt protected urban river valleys serve many important environmental functions and offer tremendous potential to explore nature close to home. At Credit Valley Conservation, we know that developing a connection to the river and our conservation areas is often the very first step to ensuring that these important resources remain protected and healthy for generations to come. So get out and explore this beautiful place. And on behalf of Credit Valley Conservation, thank you to the Greenbelt Foundation, the Greenbelt Council, and the province of Ontario for protecting our vital urban river valleys. Finally, I'd like to thank the Ministry for considering the addition of Joshua's Creek and 14 Mile Creek in Oakville as urban river valleys as part of the consultations to grow the Greenbelt. I know that the town of Oakville looks forward to supporting you in this exciting, exciting opportunity. Thank you, Minister Clark, and I invite you back to the podium. Beautiful. Perfect. No questions. That's good. So we're going to walk now to the...